Howdy. How are you doing? So in this video, I just felt inclined to uh, release the messages from your spirit guides. I always talk about your spirit guides, ancestors, and all that in my normal general and love readings. And I figured why not just start doing some spirit guide messages as well for the zodiac sign. So, hey girl. Hello, my beautiful Capricorn. How are you doing? My name is Simply Zalka, and today I'm going to be doing your spirit guide messages. I also do, for your zodiac sign Capricorn, your weekly general reading, as well as your weekly you versus them reading, which I'll leave links to both of them over here for you to check out at a later point if you'd like. But when it comes to any of my readings, Capricorn, be sure to rely on your intuition, because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't, because I promise you, Capricorn, I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. And if you find some cards that resonate with you, Capricorn, I would appreciate it for you to share in the comments below what cards resonated and how, and then also be sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you do find a card that resonates because it does help out my channel a lot, and I always am super appreciative when you guys take the time to do that for me. So, Capricorn, let's finally get into this reading. Oh, also, I want to say I'm not here to make a decision in your life. It's your life to live, not mine, right? But let's finally get into these spirit guide messages. Um, I'm really excited to. I pulled two spirit animal cards for you. We have number 57, the squirrel, equaling to, what is 57? 12, equaling to 3. So write down 3 for numerology, Capricorn, to look up later. We have the squirrel spirit saying, believe in yourself, paired with the boar spirit saying, face your problems head on with confidence and you will emerge victorious. I mean, these two cards in themselves, I feel like, tell a storyline and are just like, you know, a reading in and of itself, are they not? Because it's just like talking, asking you to like go forward with something, right? There's like probably, there seems to be like some hesitation, Capricorn. There seems to be some type of unsureness of whether or not you'd be able to uh, make it work unless, uh, or perhaps like you feel, maybe like a fear of being burned, right? If we're going to look at the numerology of things, because I know three is like a cursing number. Not to say that you're cursed. Three is my personal favorite number, Capricorn. That's why I would know of. Um, but it's interesting how this dynamic is. And then we have the Seven of Swords coming in for you as well, which is another card of being like taking the sword and going head on, head, uh, head on, forward with something. This is someone who is really trying to just, hype themselves up for battle, really trying to just take something head on, essentially, right? I feel like the Seven of Swords in this deck and the Boar card in this, uh, like, go kind of together in this sense of really asking for you to just exude more confidence because you can handle this, right? It's almost like Spirit's trying to say, it's just like, why are you, why is this, why is there a pause, right? That's something I keep on hearing is them asking, it's like, why is there a pause in action? Like, why, like, what are we waiting on? What is the, um, what is the issue, essentially, right? Um, that's for you to decide, right? You know, maybe you have your reasons for it, Capricorn, but there's is something to consider when Spirit is like really pushing for you to take action on something. Um, the Justice card, bringing things back into balance. Is this standing up for yourself against somebody, Capricorn? Seven of Wands. This does seem like you need to stand up uh, for yourself with somebody, Capricorn. I am getting that sense because Seven of... I mean, you look at the imagery of this card, it's just like someone who feels like they're battling everything on their own, right? And you very might, well, maybe, like, who am I to tell you if you have any... Or if you're receiving any physical help or not in your situation? But this, there does seem to be this thing of where it's like, I don't know if you've been wronged recently, Capricorn, or what, but there is just this definite push of just like holding someone accountable, right? That's what I'm getting. But uh, let's dive into these messages a little bit more. Now, Capricorn, I don't really have a set uh, way that I want to do this reading, so we're going to start with... Uh, what is it that Capricorn should be prepared for in the future? What is it that Capricorn, what is Capricorn having heading, have heading towards them that they should be aware about? So let's see. We pulled several cards for you. We have the Chariot card, the Queen of Swords, the Knave of Swords, the Two of Wands, the Nine of Swords, and the Four of Wands. Ooh, honey, this is a lot to unpack, Capricorn. What is going on with you guys? So, 
How are we taking this? I'm taking this as there does seem to be a, um, hmm. I can't get this help but feel like Capricorn, like you feel wronged by someone that you care about. Um, with this Nine of Swords, this lets me know of where it's just like, you're trying to make sense of somebody. You're trying to make sense of somebody's actions. And it's just like, almost like you're trying to, um, Capricorn, give the benefit of the doubt too much to them. Being like, well, maybe they didn't mean to hurt me or what, whatever the storyline is. There's like this thing of where it's just like, you're internalizing what's happening to you when really it's not your fault to begin with, Capricorn. It's not your fault at all. You're in this headspace of where it's just like, oh, what is Capricorn doing wrong? When really Capricorn isn't doing any, well, Capricorn is doing something wrong by not taking a stand for themselves and defending themselves. But Capricorn, there's just like this sense of where I feel like you need to like release this sense of responsibility, release this guilt that you might be experiencing right now in regards to this situation and like hold them accountable. Don't feel guilty about saying, she's like, hey, I don't enjoy this, right? You know, practice good boundaries with this queen of uh, queen of swords. You know, the queen of swords is someone who doesn't want to use their weapon and lash out, but they will if they need to. There's someone that usually likes to keep to themselves. Usually, right, Capricorn, you don't usually like to get around and drop metal around too much in drama, or really even surround yourself with that many people. So when you do end up do uh, getting burnt. You don't know quite how to handle it because it's just like you're not really exposed to that quite often, right? It's one of those things where it's just like, it feels like, not to say that you're passive Capricorn, but it see, feels like you're being, pa you're handling this situation too passively and not, I guess what I'm trying to say is like, it seems like you're internalizing the wrong things going on in your life, Capricorn. Like you're putting too much fault in yourself, too much responsibility on yourself when other parties are involved. And I just, I don't know. I feel like there's just like this push for you to really stand up for yourself, take a stand for yourself, right? Nave of Swords comes in here where there does seem to be a snake in the grass. I can't help but there's feel like there's some type of energy around you right now, Capricorn, that just isn't of your um, trying to be of your highest good, something that's trying to sabotage you. Now, this could just be with your head, right? This could be your own inner, inner saboteur going on, your own, your own relationship with your ego going on here trying to sabotage. But I do, I just get this sense of an energy of where something's just isn't serving you, but it's like a parasitic relationship almost, where it's just like, there's a parasite clung on to you that's really just draining you. And it's just like, that entire time, it's just like, oh, it's fine, they're just hungry, or just like, they don't mean to hurt me, or whatever, right? It's like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have been there, right? It's those things, like, it's just this kind of line, I'm just like, what is going on here, Capricorn? Like, no, like, I'm seeing Capricorn just being so, like, not being treated properly, not being respected in the way that Capricorn should be respected in. Um, because I do feel like there's like a new energy coming into you here. Um, let's, I'm going to pull a couple more cards before I get into this next part of the reading, Capricorn, but I do get this sense of where it's just like, I do think there's a different energy trying to come in, but there's, because of like that nave of swords, that snake in the grass, that's kind of stopping it, right? Whether that's just because it, are we taking those? No, we're not taking those. There does seem to be um, this sense of where it's just like, maybe you're just being too distracted by this Knave of Swords energy where you couldn't handle something new coming in, perhaps. But let's see here. I'm going to be shuffling. Oh, okay. We already have three cards here. No worries. Back of the deck energy comes out anyways six of wands so this is the victory card this is what i like to see here so this is confirming to me capricorn knight of cups right after it capricorn definitely 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 someone is trying to come into your life something is heading towards your life right now that's going to make you very happy and it's just like it's nothing like this first energy that we're connecting to capricorn nothing like it at all i feel like there's something coming towards you that's going to help you feel empowered right with this eight of wands i feel like someone's going to be coming in and help show you that you're just not 
as bad of a person as you think you are, right? They're trying, this person coming in is going to help uplift the opinion that you have of yourself rather than continue this narrative, feeding this narrative that you might have. And this other energy seems to have with you as well, Capricorn, where it's just like, allowing you to just take all the fault when there shouldn't be any fault going on here. Like, there's, I don't know. It's kind of upsetting to me to like even see this, right? So we have as well the Seven of Pentacles and the Hanged Man. So yeah, with this Hanged Man, this is confirming to me, Capricorn, like, I don't see, I don't see this Knight of Cups coming in, Capricorn. Honestly, I don't see this Knight of Cups coming in until you commit to kind of moving on from this until you commit and no longer have like this fear or no longer harboring this fear that you aren't worthy enough or whatever that fear is that's keeping you back right because the hanged man once they get that change of perspective you notice there's a sun right behind her she wasn't able to see that sun unless she had that shift of perspective and for those that know anything about tarot the sun is the best card in the deck uh capricorn so truly I do see this linked with like the loss, the loss or the moving on of this old energy comes in with this Knight of Cups. Like you wouldn't be able to see this Knight of Cups unless you experience a change of positioning, a uh, change of perspective by committing to moving on almost, right? And I just see this person as with the Seven of Pentacles, um, someone that would just help nurture you in the sense of like nurture your strengths and help you just grow and, um, give you an environment that's more conducive to growth rather than providing an environment that just kind of like wastes away at you, wastes away at your well-being almost is something that i'm hearing um and then these other cards capricorn that i didn't get to touch on um before we have the chariot card coming in with the four of wands as well as the three of wands so with this dynamic i see it very fast i see this coming i see this knight of cups coming towards you Capricorn very quickly um, after you let go of this old energy. And now I'm speaking in terms of a person, Capricorn, but it doesn't have to be a person, right? It could just be an opportunity that's presented to you that helps really facilitate some positive growth in your life, right? Because this Eight of Wands, this is talking about empowerment of the self. So easily, you know, I twisted it, I turned it in the way, not twist, I turned it in the way where it's just like, okay, this person just has you feel empowered and uplifting you, but it could just be like this opportunity, like a new job opportunity coming in for you, Capricorn, that makes you just feel a lot more positive about yourself, right? And again, like I kept saying, it's just like, I don't see this opportunity coming in for you until you let go, right? But once you let go, you're not gonna be in like this waiting period and this period of being like, okay, now what? Um, because you have the cherry card coming in where it's like a lot of forward movement uh, starts happening. This chariot comes forward to let you know that it's just like um, this energy almost probably has just been sitting here waiting for you because of the four of wands as well. This has been here, right? This opportunity, this person that with that knight of cups energy has been here for quite some time. Um, so that's why like it's so easy for them to just jump on that chair and go. Four of Wands is that 11-11 card. It's that card that is just like, you just need to walk through, right? So this door is already opened for you, Capricorn. You just need to make sure that you have enough space to walk through. Until you let go of that first energy that we're tapping into, Capricorn, I just don't see it happening. Two of Wands comes in as well. More so just amplifying, like, I just don't see you, once you let go of this old energy, I just see you kind of having something just unlock in with yourself, a way you kind of just realize, like, it's almost like you finally start seeing, like, the sun for the first time after such a long period of darkness, right? I just get, like, I don't know what that first row is. I, you know, I keep referencing it, honey. I don't know what was that first energy that we tapped into, Capricorn, but... I just know that it wasn't serving you to your highest good. I know that it wasn't making you feel good. I know that it just was making you honestly just feel, make you feel like crap about yourself, truly. Um, I don't see anything like, again, like I'm not living your life, right? So you could be experiencing something else entirely differently. And that's why you cling on to this energy more. But it's just like, I'm not seeing anything positive happening in your life from while with that old energy's influence, right? I see all the positivity happening 
with that Knight of Cups, this new thing coming towards you, right? But there's, I just keep hearing there's no space for it right now in your, in your life, right? You're not, you're not able to see it right now, very much so similar to Four of Cups energy, but you're not able to see it right now until you commit to like moving on, Capricorn. You know, it's one of those things you kind of have to take a leap of faith on, but it, I, I mean, it's worth the payout, I feel, right? The Six of Wands lets me know it's worth the payout. The Six of Wands is that victory card spotlights on you, and the Eight of Wands comes in as well on the other side, where it's just like, you just feel really good about yourself. You feel really good about yourself. You're in this place of really just planning long term, and it's just, it's beautiful. We have two more uh, animal cards coming in for you. The whale spirit, trust the great mystery. What was it? What did I just say, Capricorn? Have faith. And then you get this card literally basically saying, have faith, trust in the great mystery. And so <laughs> the moth spirit, surrender now. This is literally, these two cards is literally what I was just saying for the past like minute, Capricorn. Like, can we just take a moment to appreciate how crazy this, uh, this coincidence is, right? This is crazy. So truly, 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 Capricorn, if my words weren't enough, let's hopefully, let's hope that these two cards really showed you that we're tapping into something here, honey. And it's really important for you to just let go of those fears, trust in the unknown, trust in spirit, have faith, take that leap of faith, uh, Capricorn, right? Even if you don't know how things are going to pan out, even if it seems impossible to you right now, right? Your spirit guides have a different uh, plan in mind for you that you just may not be privy to, which is fine right but you just have to kind of like allow it to happen rather than continue on with this type of resistance towards this transition capricorn so yeah that's the reading that i have for you if you enjoyed this reading capricorn be sure to give me a like and subscribe be sure to comment below what card resonated with you and then share my videos with a friend capricorn if you think they might be into my messages as well until next time though capricorn i love you so much